hope you're having a good day. So it is pouring down rain. Did you see this? Pouring down rain outside and it's storming and we have pretty much done nothing all day but lay around and be lazy, but it's summer. And of course you get a lazy day like this and you just want a snack, right? So the girls wanted an afternoon snack and I got to thinking, um, they asked for popcorn. So I want you guys to think about this. Uh, this is something that, um, we love popcorn obviously. And um, I want you to think about next time you buy popcorn, I want you to look at the ingredients. Now, I'll be the first to tell you that I, there's probably not much else I love more than some good like movie theater popcorn, okay? So I'm not like the popcorn Nazi and um, I do indulge from time to time, but for around the house and just looking for like a good clean snack for the kids, um, if you haven't checked what's in your popcorn, you might want to check on it. So let me just show you. I had this in the pantry. I pulled it out because I thought there might be ingredients on this and there's not because I don't have the box anymore. But I looked it up. First of all, pet peeve. Big pet peeve of mine. I don't like it when I try and look up ingredients for something and the company does not outright like post their ingredients. Like when I have to hunt and search for it, it tells me that they're hiding something. Okay. So it took me probably five minutes to actually hunt down an ingredients list for this, but I found it. So, and they had advertised, you know, oh, whole grain, natural popcorn, right? Okay, this is pop secret. This is just like a hundred calorie pack of popcorn, like a snack size. Okay, let me tell you what else is in this popcorn. Parsh partially hydrogenated oil, cream and milk, natural, natural flavors, and artificial flavors. So they're touting it as being natural. No, natural and artificial, super sketchy when they don't even tell you what it is color added color added to your popcorn guys and i don't even know if i can pronounce it propyl propyl gal galate aka preservative preservatives okay so i'm going to show you what we do we like to air pop shout out to all my air pop fans out there okay this is my favorite type of air pop popcorn okay this is arrowhead mills i got it at publix um I'm sure you could get it on Amazon or somewhere. Blah, blah, blah. Gluten-free. Whole grain. Yeah, we know popcorn, popcorn is whole grain. Okay, ingredients in this. Organic yellow popcorn. That's it. That's it. One ingredient. So hang on one second. Let me pull this out of the microwave. Okay. So this is the popcorn, this is Paper Chef. I don't sell Paper Chef, but I like this popcorn popper um, because you can, it's, it has this nice little, nice little cup on the top that you can measure the, the kernels with. It's like good, like portion control, okay? And you don't have to put anything with it. Like you can literally just like pop it just like this and it's good. If you wanted to, you could put some butter in here, some coconut oil, and it kind of drips through the popcorn while you cook it. Um, it's really good too. So. I'm just gonna show you. Oh, it's hot. So I just did a little scoop of popcorn. Look, like I don't even see any kernels in there. Maybe just a few that didn't pop, but this is a good like portion size. It's good, okay? And you don't have to have your popcorn like covered in chemicals and artificial flavors, okay? Um, if you want to put butter on it, by all means, use the good stuff. Don't use margarine, use the real deal um, and enjoy. But I just want to share that with you guys today because that was kind of an eye-opener for me because we were notorious for buying like the big packs of popcorn at Sam's or Costco or whatever. And if you can just clean it up a little bit, like baby steps, that really helps. Um, especially if you have kids and they're, you know, looking for a healthy snack. It's hard. It's hard to find stuff that isn't laced with all kinds of stuff. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I'll put this stuff up on the blog later um, if you want more info on this. Like I said, I don't sell it or anything, but I like it. So, you know, you guys know I'll share products that I love. Um, all right. So, next time you buy popcorn, check out those ingredients because there may be hidden ingredients. And be be careful of companies that don't post their ingredients where they, you can find them easily. Super sketchy. Okay? You guys have a great day.